Well, it's summer which obviously means you're ending school and of course, depending on what grade you're in, you would have recently had some exams. Tell me, did you cheat on them? Of course you didn't because you clearly thought there was no way of cheating. Well, I, Florist Cat Copper, have found a way of cheating on them so get ready for next year. Now, of course, after the label cheat was patched, all you kids gave up on trying to cheat as it felt like there was no way of cheating anymore. Well, as I said, I found some new ways of cheating. Let me start with the invisible writing method. Difficulty, very easy. What you will need is a magic pen that can see writing when you shine a special light on it and one broken arm. Right, you can get your magic pen on eBay or whatnot and then to break your arm, simply go to your local high rooftop and jump off. Be sure not to land on your writing hand or else you may be put on a computer in order to do your exam. Once you have broken your arm, visit your nearest hospital where you will be given a cast. If your arm happens to be bruised, go back and jump off the roof again. Now, if you're a citizen of the US like I am, it may come to a price due to Obamacare. If you are a British citizen, you can currently get it for free but be careful, because the National Health Service is under urge of privatization. Now that you have a broken arm and a magic pen, Simply write on your cast the answer as you want and when the exam comes, gently shine the pen's light on your cast so that you will be able to see what you have wrote. Of course, not everyone wants to stand up to pain which is why I have another method of cheating. This method is what I call the pencil method. Difficulty, medium. What you will need is around 100 pencils as of course, not a lot of information can be fitted on. Once you have your pencils, Simply engrave them with the answers written in Braille. If you don't know Braille, then just learn it online or whatever. Once you are confident at reading Braille, you can then read or feel the information engraved onto one of your pencils. Be sure to bring a big container, as you will need a lot of them. Oh, and if your teacher happens to ask why you have so many pencils, then just tell them that they are spare pairs for when the worst happens. Of course, not everyone wants to go through the effort of trying to understand Braille so no need to fear. I have yet another idea of how you could cheat. Behold, the trick calculator method. Difficulty, extremely hard. What you will need is a lot of things, but to save time, I'll simplify and say that you need tools which you build a calculator with. You can order calculator parts off the internet and when they arrive, then you can start building your calculator. After the immense labor, you can then start to program your calculator. This is where the magic happens. Rather than program it to do maths, you can just program it to give you worded answers. Building it like a normal calculator will disguise it so that the people watching over you will think you are pressing the number 9 when in reality, you're pressing the gateway to a fully correct exam. Please be aware that this method only applied to exams which allow you to use calculators. Now, of course, there is also a different method which is the time machine method. Difficulty, near impossible. If you know how to build a time machine then build one and go forwards in the future and then get the answers to the exam you're about to sit in the past. Or, if you don't want to sit the exam at all, simply kill your parents so that you were never born. Now you know how to cheat at exams. Good luck next year. You can now spend more time playing outside rather than sit at home revising. Be sure to tell your friends but seriously, don't tell any adults. See ya.